Sergeant, sorry if you disagree, but your team's not the best face for the department right now. What exactly do you know about tactics? Not much. But I know a show of force by the same cops who caused this outrage isn't the best option. Cortez solved that. For now. I see she made the right call when things get more heated. Is that really where your head is at? What? I'm just trying to figure out why you're spying on Captain Cortez and me in front of her apartment. What's your deal? I'm jealous. Two of you are very lucky. You're in a line of work where you know who the bad guys are and you know who the good guys are. See, in politics, if someone doesn't like your ideas, they don't attack them, they attack you. Smiling at you the whole time. That's why you always have to make the first play. Stay ahead of your foes. <laughs> like you did with your reform proposals. Excuse me? You leaked them to the papers, didn't you? I had to. Before the rank and file killed the whole thing internally. If I had known the two of you were screwing one another and the department, I wouldn't have wasted my time. Nobody knows about us but you. The more Cortez is out there publicly pushing this agenda, the more people focus on every detail of her life. You'll both be exposed. <laughs> so what, you're looking out for us? Not you. Just Jessica. She's smart. She'll go places. She doesn't get dinged by this. What hasn't sunken in for her yet is the double standard. See, if a man wants to shake things up, make them stick, he can probably get away with an intern on her knees in the White House or a tryst with Russian call girls. But not a woman. Jessica can't ignore department regulations and sleep with one of her subordinates while lecturing other cops on how to behave. That's what the story will be. Not what Jessica's trying to do for this city. You're asking me what my deal is, Sergeant Allison. What's yours? Because if you cared about Jessica at all, you'd want to protect her. 